subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wase here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can update the firmware of your zion gimbal in this video i'm going to be updating the firmware of the zion weebel s the process is going to be same for almost all the zion gimbals so let's begin the video so there are some things that are required for the firmware update first of all you need your zion gimbal a wire that will connect your gimbal to your macbook or a windows pc and usually this cable comes with your zion gimbal from which you charge it so these are the three things and the fourth thing is an active internet connection so these are all the things required so before you begin the firmware updation process that i will show you in the rest of the video make sure that you have some kind of camera uh, on the zion gimbal and it is balanced because for the firmware update we we'll need to power on the gimbal and if it doesn't have any camera then that is going to cause a problem so make sure that you have a camera on your gimbal and it is balanced so first of all we need to check that which version of firmware our zion gimbal is so currently in this video i have the zion weebel s so you need to make sure that which version of the uh, zion firmware you have for your gimbal if you have the latest version then you cannot obviously upgrade it because it is already upgraded anyways uh, the process is going to be same for all the zion gimbals but the interface may be different for different models for the weebel s all you need to do is to press on this dial on the lower side one time after that we're going to scroll this wheel to the bottom and at the very bottom it's going to say about so here is the about section in most of the gimbals you need to go to the about section we're going to press on the right side button and it's going to open the about section and you can see currently its version is version 2.05 and i have checked zion's website there is a new firmware update available for this gimbal which means that we can update the firmware of this particular gimbal so the first thing that you need to do is to go and check your gimbal whether it has the latest firmware update or not so that you can proceed to the next steps after that i checked it i'm going to just power off the gimbal for now because we need to uh, download the firmware from our laptop so here i am on my windows pc the process is going to be same for mac users as well so there are two ways on how you can upgrade the firmware of your zion gimbal the first way is that you can download the zion zy play app and upgrade the firmware from there but there are a lot of comments on the internet that that process isn't very successful sometimes it does the job but sometimes it doesn't so the more reliable way is that you connect it with the type c cable of your gimbal to your pc and upgrade the firmware from here so we're going to use this more reliable method i'm on on a windows pc the process will be same for mac users as well first of all you need to open any of your browser and you need to open zion's website from here you need to find the product for whichever gimbal or any other product you want to upgrade the firmware uh, the bad thing about this particular website is that it doesn't have any search bar like come on Zion you can at least add a search bar to this website uh, which they should fix like a search bar is really necessary anyways the gimbal that I have is the Zion Weebel S so I know that it is under professional category and I'm going to press on all products on professional category again if Zion had a search bar it would be much more easier but for now I'm just going to find my product through this way so the weebl s is an old gimbal here it is so whichever gimbal you're going to upgrade just find its name and press on it maybe you want to upgrade for the crane m2 or the weebl 2 so open that particular page here i have the weebl s so whichever zion gimbal you're going to open you need to go to the download section from here you need to go and you can see they are showing the zy play again which i showed you which is the first way but not the reliable way the reliable way is that you need to download these three files on the left side so first of all we need to download the actual firmware which you can see for the zion weebl s is 2.07 and on the gimbal we saw that it is currently on top 2.05 so there is a latest version available which means we can upgrade it so we're going to press on the download now button and we are going to download this file other than that we are going to press on zion calibration upgrade tool we need to download this file as well and the last file is the zion usb drive so all of these files are mandatory to download and install two of them are for your windows program and third one is the actual firmware so not very big files like 40 mb 50 mb 
they're going to be downloaded quite quick and here you can see since i am on windows i am selecting all the downloads for the windows if you're going to go on to mac then you can download for mac as well but you can see that the zion usb drive is not needed for the macbooks but for the calibration tool you can download it for mac and the firmware as well which is only for your zion gimbal so the zion usb drive is not needed for mac users so here are all the three files that i have downloaded you can see that they are in the zip file so you need some kind of software that can extract them i have winrar you can download it for free so i'm just going to right click on it and press on extract here i'm going to do it for all the three files so the last one as well so you can see all the three files have been extracted i'm just going to delete the zip files first of all you need to make sure that you connect the usb type c cable to your gimbal and connect it to your laptop here you can see on the vbls i have connected the type c cable that comes with the gimbal to charge it and i have connected on the port that is present on the right side and the other end has is connected to my laptop after that i'm going to power on my zion gimbal and you can see my pc has also detected the gimbal i'm going to close this one now i'm going to run the zycdc setup press on yes the default location next install welcome to the driver device uh, device drive installation wizard we're going to press on next completing the device installation wizard we're going to press on finish we're going to press on finish here as well the next thing that you need to do is to open the ptz calibration utility or tool uh, this is for windows the mac users won't have to face this issue anyways here you can see it says open just press on open make sure your gimbal is connected and powered on to the pc so you can see it has shown vbl as so the software has detected the gimbal we're going to go to the firmware upgrades uh, location but for now you can see we have this third folder that we downloaded which, which is vbl as firmware version 2.07 and it has a firmware.ptz file so here we have the software all you need to do is to just drag the firmware ptz file into this empty area and here it will show you all the things so after that we just need to press on upgrade but before that here you can see it shows the firmware 2.07 which is the latest firmware that we need to install we are going to press on upgrade and you can see it's saying uploading please wait patiently okay on the gimbal you can see we got this little upgrade icon as well so for now don't do anything to your gimbal okay we got a little tick as well on the gimbal so it means our gimbal has been updated successfully and our pc is going to detect it again so we're just going to simply close the zion gimbal tool i'm going to power on the gimbal again now you can unplug this type c cable if you want to because it is not needed anymore so from here you need to just press on the lower button again again we're going to scroll down to the about section and here you can see the version has been upgraded to 2.07 which is the latest version of this gimbal so guys if you like this video like share subscribe if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe